In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an assignment where students create a voice thread. And I think that this is probably the most commonly used and the most powerful for having students create presentations because they have slides and then they can talk and then it can move to another slide. And I think that's probably one of the more common uses for it. But of course, it's up to your imagination within the confines of, of what you can do within VoiceThread on, on how you can make it so they're creating their own VoiceThread. Okay, so I just have a base link here that again, since it's a graded assignment, we have to set it up in Ultra as a graded assignment through the ellipses of more options and then edit. The reason I'm showing you this, because I've shown you this before, um, is because I tend to have different settings for something that is a presentation, for instance. We're just going to go with presentation as our example. So quite a number of probably more points than I would for something low stakes like a watch assignment. And then I like the, the category of presentation as well. And that kind of allows me more flexibility in how I deal with um, different grading categories and, and stuff like that. So I go ahead and click save and then it's ready for setup. So if we click on it, it's going to take us and allow us to do assignment building as that fourth option. If it's not there, it means that you didn't do that step of creating a grade associated with it before you launch the setup. Okay, so we're going to go into assignment builder and other videos have how to submit a comment version and watch a voice thread. We're going to go over create a voice thread in this video. And really what it comes down for setup is if you want to add a description here, if you want to allow students to resubmit, it comes down to on your end and I'll show you how it's going to look quite a bit different from a student end. Okay, so we created that. It's now live. We can go to student view over here. You'll see that it has a slightly different icon. It shows it as a presentation and I'm, I'm a big fan of making my icons different as much as I can for just students to be able to quickly see and they'll click on it and it's once again you'll have to they'll have to launch and then they are routed into something that should look pretty familiar to you which is to create or choose an existing voice thread i have used this test student before and they have created a test voice thread here but most of them are going to be going to create new voice thread and so as a result um, you need to make sure that you have some job aids on how they go through this entire process they're going through the same process just like you would then they can create their own recording on their slides so if they had created a powerpoint it would load all the slides in for them they can add that as their media and they could just be talking about it here make his his mustache fuchsia they could do lots of things and then they go ahead and click stop recording and upload. It's the same process that you would go through um, if you're creating a comment. They've created their comment. They want to now submit. So you can see how there's a lot of steps here that a student might get confused. Then they have two other options. They can just go ahead and submit or they can also submit and share it with the class. And this is also up to you as an instructor. If you want them to only submit it to you, so it's kind of student to instructor, or if you want a place where they're sharing it with the entire class. If that's the case, then you need a VoiceThread link that takes them to the class VoiceThread. And again, that's down to your own preference. They go ahead and submit. It's all submitted. You go to your end of things. And when you click on this, it's going to take you to grading options now that it's all been set up. And you can see that you have one student has submitted. You can click on it and it's going to take you directly to their voice thread. And this is really great if you have multiple students who have all those you know, different threads. You can just click on the student. It's going to bring it up for you. You can go ahead and assess it, give them a grade. Now, you may have noticed that one of the ways that this is not necessarily super great is there's no place for feedback. So I have no option. All I can give them here is a grade. That is all that is linking over. I find that to be problematic. And so when we go ahead and we'll, we'll exit out of this and submit it, if we go over to the grade book, we say, see that we have a voice thread creation assignment. If I click this link, it's just going to open voice thread grading for me. So I have to change over to this view and we'll see that, okay, well, that grade has been posted and I can view it. But again, I have a feedback issue here. There's different ways that you can approach this. You can email feedback to students. You can have it so they're creating the voice thread, but then they're, they're getting comments elsewhere. And the third view is you can hope that Ultra will allow feedback here at some point, but feedback 
definitely important here. Uh, but that's essentially how you can create a voice thread creation assignment, which in a lot of ways most commonly is a presentation style of the voice thread assignment.